Thank you, global citizens. I'm so happy to be with you today. Over the past four decades, the world has faced 25 Ebola outbreaks. And the 2014 outbreak in West Africa killed seven times more people than all previous outbreaks combined. Devastating communities, families, and impacting healthcare workers on the front lines of patient care. It must be stopped. As one of the world's largest healthcare companies, we at Johnson & Johnson are determined to use our size, scale, and science in partnership with public and private institutions to make a real difference in world's health. Today, Johnson & Johnson sees the threat of global pandemics like Ebola, HIV, tuberculosis and Zika as one of the most pressing and addressable public health challenges the world faces. At the height of the 2014 Ebola crisis, we acted swiftly, investing millions and mobilizing our best scientists to accelerate the development and production of our Ebola vaccine. We did this in collaboration with fantastic partners like the European Commission and several US agencies and global health institutions. We wanted to help and ensure that we are ready to prevent the spread of the next outbreak and protect the doctors, nurses and medical workers who race to the front lines. One incredible doctor who has been on the front lines is Soka Moses, who you saw in the film just now. A man who treated thousands of patients with Ebola in his home country of Liberia. I'm honored that he is with us tonight. Please welcome Dr. Soka Moses from Liberia. Thank you for the warm welcome, global citizens. Thank you. In 2014, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea were devastated by the Ebola outbreak with thousands of lives lost. At the time, I was recently out of medical school, but not long into the outbreak, I was charged with leading the second Ebola treatment unit in Monrovia, where more than 600 patients were treated for Ebola. I saw countless children, women, and even friends become victims of this fatal disease. My proudest moment during this Ebola outbreak were always the discharge of survivors of the disease from the hospital, giving them hope for a new life again. The youngest of them was a four-month-old orphan. These survivors drive my work every day. And I want to urge you all global citizens to support those of us on the front line. All of us have a role to play in ensuring that Ebola does not devastate our world again. Thank you very much. Thank you. At Johnson & Johnson, we are committed to changing the trajectory of health for humanity. Today, it's my honor to announce that Johnson & Johnson is pledging to maintain a stockpile of two million Ebola vaccines to be deployed at any moment to those countries and people who need it the most. Thank you, Hanika, for Johnson & Johnson's commitment to Ebola. Now, I am pleased to welcome a fellow African a leader who understands the need to work together to prioritize disease and prevention and response better than almost anyone. 